Hello, you're welcome to another online class. Today we're going to be making a fascinator. This is a heart, and this is from our previous class. So we'll be making this fascinator or a different pattern from it. So the materials we'll be using is I wanted using this net, but it's not enough. So I won't be using it again. I wanted to use a different one. So I'm going to be using this net, this black net, and then. I'm going to be using this as well. And then we're going to be using Halley's band. In the last class, we used a comb. But this time around, I'm using the Halley's band for my heart. Fascinator. Because I want to wear the fascinator different from the heart. I want to wear the fascinator different from this. So that this one will just be on the heart. And then the next one we're going to make, I will just wear it normal without the heart on it. So what I have been using is my wire i've already wrapped my wire now it depends how do you wrap your wire it depends for me i don't use pieces i don't use pieces of this net to wrap it up now since i'm using black i'm making use of black net i have to use something black so that it the wire will not be showing or where you join will not be showing but if you're using something white you can use bias you can use bias for it this is bias you can use this bias for it that is when you're using bias you apply gum at the bias at the edge and place it like this sorry my hands are dirty i made shoe sure just now so you place it like this round so but me i didn't use i don't use pieces of this net to wrap it up that's like i said that some edges are rough kind of rough the edges but it's not big because i'm going to be covering it so what we're going to do and then we're going to be using this for our decoration and i'm going to attach this flower as well for our decoration okay no so i wish i may wish to attach the same flower with this I can decide to attach some flower with this, but anyone that I choose, that I'm using. Let's see how the class is going to get along. So what I'm going to do first is keep this aside, clear your table, take your net, take your net, you fold it into two. Make sure that you fold it into two. Make sure the net is wide. Make sure that the net is wide, that it could cover and you can hold your hand. So this is my wire, and my net is big enough for it. So this is it. Let's go down to work now. Okay, this is it. So that I don't have to waste material, so I just set it where I want it to be. So. I place my wire on top, I straighten it so it doesn't have lumps and gather. I straighten it, I begin to fold it up. Okay, this is alright. We need to fold it up, fold it, fold it, fold it, fold it, fold it, fold it. Fold it. Fold it. To you have the shape now if you watch from this hat that we made from the previous class you see that this fascinator is bent is it's kind of it's bent but in this one it is straight you see it is straight in this one it is a round shape now I why I have a round shape is because I did I double the wire. The wire inside is doubled. I double the wire to make it two. And I tight it firm. Now if you want to have that bent shape, you will use only but one wire, just one round of wire instead of having a double coat of the wire. So when you have that one wire, by the time you fold like this, it will be giving you different shape. Okay, let me try to see if I can bend this. Okay, yeah, okay, fine. It's bending. Oh, it's bending. I wanted to do a round shape, but it's bending. But since it's bending, you can see. It's, okay, fine. That's giving us that shape. The shape of the previous one. Okay. You see? Now, if you want to stretch, since it can stand straight because this wire is double coated. 
All right, should, should we do of uh, should we do like this? Should we make it like this? Which one should we do? Oh, okay, fine. Let's do it like this. Now, how I'm getting it? I hold this plate. Look at it. I hold it tight. I hold it tight. So when you hold it tight like this. When you hold it tight like this, see it. You will not tie it. You take your thread and then tie it. Take your thread and tie it. When you tie it, they will know what next to do. So after the folding, this is what I get. See, I finish folding. You see, I said I wanted to make the same. Uh, that thing to make the same thing like the one we made in the last previous class. So after I finish folding, tighten it tight. I cut out the essence. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this my material. This cinnamon. Mm. And fold it like this. Please watch. You can just create something of your own choice, but I won't just create this. You create this like a bow. You make a bow. I'm gonna make a bow and place it here. I'm going to make a bow and place it here to cover out where I have cut out. All right, in the course of folding in, I decided to change my the pattern. I don't want to do like the first one we had, so this is what I did. I fold this into two, and then I use, um, I fold this into two, and then I use the hand needle and puncture at different places. You know, it is very light, so I will draw it like this. Okay, set it well so that you can get the shape you want. Okay, I know it is transparent, so you should just see the way I, I, I attach it. I saw it giving gap. So I'm going to get the gather now. Okay. Oops. Just lose somewhere. Okay, I'm going to take this one. I hope you are getting it. I'm trying to form, see if I can get one style that I want. Alright, sorry, this edge has loosened. This edge has loosened. So, you know, before you start, you have to tie it. Tie it. Alright, this is the design I'm from now. This is it. You can see. This is it. So, I'm going to just place it here. I'm just gonna place it here. So I was trying to tie this. Okay. Tie it so it doesn't lose. Uh huh. Okay, this is what I got. I'll be placing it here, and then I'm gonna stitch. When you're stitching, be careful, it has to have black thread to use for this so that a different color won't be showing at the back of it. So I'm gonna stitch it, I'm gonna stitch it together for it to go. So by the time I stitch it, I will now, I don't know if I can use this, but if it's not okay, I'm going to be using this. Uh, I think I'll be using this. Alright, I think I'll be using this to make it a fuller house. So the next one you're going to be seeing now is, I'm going to stitch this. I'm going to stitch this together and then use my hot gum. I'll use my hot gum to gum this together with this. So let's see well, after doing it. Let's see how the finishing will look like. Hello, so I have sewn it. This is how the fascinator is. This is how the fascinator will look like. Yeah. This is how it will look like. Okay. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to attach my Harley's band. Some persons may choose to 
wrap this Alice band, but since it's black, I won't wrap, I won't be wrapping it. So I'm gonna apply put my Alice band depending on where you want your heart to be facing. If this is how you want to wear your heart, if this is how you want to wear your heart, if you want to wear it like this, or you want to wear it like this. So it depends on where you want to wear your heart. For me, I want it to be like this. I want it to be like this. So I'll be placing my Alice band here, using my hot gum for it. And then you see this material. It's also a hot material. You may choose to use the shape, the zigzag shape. But you don't have to cut a very straight something. And then you use it to cover the Alice band from where you will be gumming. So it's going to be like this. And then this is covering it or better still let me do like this this is covering it and this will be covering it okay yeah this i'm gonna do it i use this material like this i take this one and i use it here this is gonna cover the where i'm gonna stitch or where i'm gonna go but i'm gonna be using gum for it i'm gonna be using this hot gum for it to go on this year. So let's go and see where our heart will take us to. Alright, so this is our fascinator. Uh, I'm gonna clean these rough edges. So you do where to clean your own. Alright, so please make yours and send feed bag. Please don't forget to like and to subscribe. Thank you very much. See you in the next class.